Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Christine with iNet and if you're new here then please subscribe so that we get to see you more often and get to know each other. I have a special sweater pattern just for you guys. It is available in Big Kid, extra small all the way to 3XL. So for anyone really. I am going to show you how to make it in size medium, but if you want to make it in any of the other sizes, then click on the link underneath this video. It will take you to the written pattern and download it and start following along with me. Why I love this pattern. It is a really fun design. I'm not the fastest at purling, so when I have to do like a whole purl row, I'm like, ugh. But with this purl row, you get to slip half of the stitches so it goes super fast the design is so beautiful it's going to look good on anybody and it keeps your attention it's fun to make I would love to see how yours turns out what color yarn you use if you choose to make it with long or short sleeves or if you want to make it shorter like a crop or even longer than what I did but it's just an all-around awesome pattern. You start from the top and you work your way down. And then after you do that, then you do the sleeves. And then you make the ribbing up here on the collar. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on there a lot more than I am on YouTube. Tag me in your creation so we can all see how yours turns out. And then I'll be able to share your sweater with everyone else and be inspired by you. All right. Let's get this started. To start off your pattern, you're going to need your first skein and your larger size needles with your larger cable. I am going to be doing size medium, but I have extra small all the way to 3XL as well as a big kid size that fits like a 8 to maybe 12 year old. And you can follow along with my video to make those sizes. Just remember to follow along with the pattern. Click on the link underneath this video and it will take you to the written pattern. You can download and follow along with me. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna do the long tail cast on. And you make a slip knot. And tighten it on your needle. And I like to have my tail in the front and then your working yarn in the back. If you need additional help on how to do this, I'm going way too fast. Don't worry, I have a link underneath the video and it'll go a lot slower on how to make the slip knot and cast on and all that. Okay, so watch that first and then you can come back to this video. Our pattern says to cast on one, which will be just our slip knot. Then we place our marker and then you're going to cast on the amount that the pattern says for whatever size you are making. For the size medium, we're casting on 11. And then you just place your marker and you cast on the next amount, which is 35 for medium. Okay, so continue on for this row, placing your markers where you need to. This is what it should look like. So they should be the same on both sides or cast on one, place your marker, and then you have this smaller section, place your marker, and then the larger section. And this will be your front, and these will be your arms or the sleeves, and then this will be the back. We are not going to join because we want our neck to be a little lower. Let's begin with our row one, which will be on our wrong side. Our row one, we will be increasing. What we first do is we are going to knit front and back. Bring your yarn around, come up, and then go 
to the back and then you knit from the back. And look, now we have two stitches. Make sure that tail stays down. We slip our marker on the right side and then we're going to knit front and back again. So basically we're just going to increase before our stitch markers and after our stitch markers. Knit to one stitch before. Slip your marker on your right side, knit front and back again. All right, so knit, 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 knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back, knit, 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 knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back. And this is what mine looks like. So we should have two here and then our shorter section and then our larger section. And we increased eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for row two in all of the even rows, you are always going to knit your first stitch at the beginning of each even row, okay? Let's start that. And then we start with the pattern. When you get to the, your first stitch before each marker, you will purl that stitch. Since we're already there, then we don't have to do the pattern yet until the next section. We purl that, bring our yarn around, slip our marker over. Now we're going to start the pattern, which is a knit one, and then with your yarn in back, we are going to slip this purl wise. Always purl wise. Now we knit. Yarn's always in the back. Slip this purl wise. Knit. Slip. Knit. Slip. And this will be different once we start knitting in the round. Slip this one. Okay, now we're at the stitch right before our marker. So we purl that one. And this is what will make a really nice design, like a knitted design in between our sections. Place our marker and we do it again. We always start with our knit and then slip. All right, so do your knit, slip, knit, slip. One stitch before every marker, you will purl. Knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip purl, place it, and then knit and purl. I purled slip marker, I knitted, and I always purl my last stitch. And this is what it looks like. For row three, it's basically row one where we knit front and back before the stitch marker and after the stitch marker. Knit, knit, knit knit front and back, slip, knit front and back. The only thing is we are going to be increasing on your first stitch and your last stitch. So we knit front and back. And 
if we had more stitches, we would knit, 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 get to the stitch right before our marker and we knit front and back. And this will be 10 increases. Slip our marker, knit front and back. And you just knit all the way to one stitch before your next marker. And we knit front and back of it. Slip our marker. Knit front and back. Keep knitting, knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back, knit, knit, knit. Knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back, and then we knit front and back on our last stitch as well. If you guys are wanting to learn continental knitting, bring your yarn over on this side. You hold it with your left hand, and it actually goes faster once you get the hang of it. So what I was showing you earlier, that's the English style, and this is the continental style. And I just flipped it over, and this is what, after my row three, and we're going to start our next row. You will repeat rows two to three for 20 more rows, or 23 rows from the cast on. And it's pretty easy to kind of count where you are. I will show you that. Just remember on your odd rows, the rows that you're increasing, you're going to increase one stitch before and after every marker and the first and the last stitch you will be increasing. You do your knit front and back for every odd row and then you just knit. Does that make sense? All right, so repeat rows two and three. I wanted to show you real quick um, just the beginning of row four now that we have more stitches in our first section. We always knit our first stitch. Okay, and then we start with the pattern which is knit one and then slip one with yarn and back, purl wise. And if I had another stitch, I would knit one and then purl your last stitch since it's right next to this one. The stitch right before your stitch marker, you're going to purl in each section. Slip your marker and then keep going with the pattern. Slip and knit. Okay. All right, so this is what mine looks like. Yours should look similar, probably a different amount of stitches for the different sizes. I'm showing you, actually, this is the big kid size. So if you're doing size medium and you're like, uh, mine's bigger, then good. I just didn't record this when I did my medium size. So here we are. I'm still going to give you the medium size one though. Now, so this is our back and this is our sleeves and this is the front. We are going to add some more stitches right here. 